So, uh, good morning, everyone. I believe you will hear me well. My name is Jan Stejskal. Uh, I am the PCNL and Logistic Manager uh, in Autonomous CZ uh, Chocen plant in Czech Republic. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce you our experience from the implementation of ASPROVA and to present you our solution of the production planning in ASPROVA. Uh, per, at the beginning, something about uh, Autoneum company and about our plant in Chocen in Czech Republic. Autoneum develops and produces uh, lightweight and multi multifunctional uh, components and systems for noise and the heat protection for almost all automobile manufacturers across the world. And our plant in Chocen specializes in the production of underbody uh, shields, uh, floor insula insulators, engine encapsulation, engine top cover, hood liners, and other components for noise and heat protection. From the technology, uh, as you can see, we have uh, basic basic molding uh, lines, LFT lines, basic data cell lines, basic felt lines, and IFT line. Yeah. So from our customers, uh, I will mention the PSA group, BMW group, JLR, VW, Toyota, Daimler, Volvo car, Volvo truck, Ford, Ford and some uh, parts after uh, end of uh, production to Scania, Iveco and Suzuki. This slide, this slide is, is about our, our layout of our plant. So uh, we have two holes where we produce uh, our end products, hole M3, where we produce the felt uh, products, hole M5, uh, this is the theta cell uh, products. Then we have hole M4, uh, this is for our semi-finished semi products where we produce, so felt line and cutting of freeze. And here behind we have logistics area uh, where we store the, uh, the, the finished goods, where we have empties. Yeah, so this is, this is about, about our, our layout. On this slide, uh, I, I, I can show you uh, the product portfolio on the car picture. So the hood liners, engine encapsulation, trunk trim, IFP carpets, underbody shields, and then the, the, the uh, engine top covers. So now we will focus on our production planning solution in ASPROVA. This slide shows you the original production planning before the introduction of ASPROVA. It was, I have to say, it was very sophisticated Excel file with many connections. However, the production planners still had to manually add the quantities they needed to produce to each cell for a given product and, and, and shift. They had to count the quantities manually, as well as manually monitor the usage of the sub resources. Uh, by the sub resources, I mean, uh, for example, heating station or uh, tool load trucks, uh, which are shared and uh, make 
the bottlenecks in our processes. So uh, there were no available the da these data for the sub resources. Uh, so everything depended on the knowledge of the production planners and it caused us inefficiencies. And from all these reasons, uh, we decided to implement an advanced uh, planning system. And ASPROVA turned out, turned out uh, as the best solution for us. Firstly, well, first of all, it is necessary to clarify what you expect from uh, advanced planning system. What your requirements are on this page uh, are listed our requirements. So we wanted to increase the productivity, increase the production process efficiency, synchronize all production processes because we have, for example, also online production to have the standardization of the production planning. We wanted to have also the management of all resources affecting the manufacturing processes and maximally efficient use of, of these uh, resources, of all resources. For us, the resources uh, for the production planning are machines, operators, heating stations, tool uh, handling trucks, and of course, the molds. And this is really uh, very important before uh, you do the decision to implement any advanced planning system. So uh, we introduced ASPROVA in our plant in, uh, in the middle of the year 2019. At that time, uh, our ERP system was BIPIX. And based on our possibility uh, to use the BIPIX and based on the data which we can keep in this ERP system, we decided uh, to have two uh, external uh, sources uh, for uh, ASPROVA. The one of them was the, the ERP, the BIPIX, where we had uh, BOMs, routings, data about the molds, of course, inventory levels, sales orders. The second uh, external uh, source or data source uh, for ASPROVA was special Excel file with data about heating stations, about the tool uh, load trucks, time of the heating, uh, setup time, tear down time, cooling time, for example. Yeah. And this is this was in the past. Now I can say from the 1st of January uh, 2021, we implemented SAP. And from beginning of, the, of this year, we have just one external source for the data uh, for ASPROVA, and it is SAP. So into the SAP, in comparison to the uh, BIPIX, we incorporated, in, incorporated also information about heating of the of the molds, about the heating stations, and just uh, the information about uh, and the data about uh, tool uh, load trucks are managed directly uh, by ASPROVA in the module BOM. So uh, the the structure of the data is now more simple. Uh, on daily base, as it is written here, we import uh, from SAP into ASPROVA the BOMs, routings, uh, inventory levels, sales orders, and also, also the SAP packaging instructions. And 
back, we sent uh, the created work orders uh, in ASPROA back to SAP, including the packaging instruction. Because the moment uh, in ASPROA, we also use the packaging instruction from SAP to divide the demand of different customers, for example, PSA Apple for one product with different packaging instruction. And ASPROA automatically divides the production orders according to the demand of individual customers and assigns them the correct packaging instruction. And the packaging instruction, including the work orders, are sent or exported uh, on a daily basis to SAP. And the production then uh, has the information directly from ASPROA which packaging instruction they have to use. So uh, on next two slides, uh, I will show you how many uh, resources we manage by uh, ASPROA. So it's five tool load delivery trucks by which we uh, move uh, our tools. It's, it's visible here on this picture, the Serapid. Then it's 384 molds, eight heating stations with different uh, number of positions. Then it's 84 work centers. And of course, operators. We have six groups. And all of these uh, resources could be set as a constraint or unconstrained. It's up to your decision, up to your strategy, and up to your need. What do, do you really need to have? Uh, so, of course, uh, the parameterization of the planning algorith algorithms uh, are very important and uh, partly or mainly are uh, uploaded from SAP, for example, the maximum and mi minimum production batch, uh, batch size, routing value, uh, safety stocks, but for example, the accumulation period and target uh, reserve is managed directly uh, in ASPROA. And all these parameters help us uh, to create optimal production batch uh, for, the, for the production and to reduce uh, the change overs on daily basis. So on the next page uh, is presented the work queue for our setters and tool makers because we decided uh, to manage by ASPROA not just the production planning itself but also all the sub resources which affects the production process. We prepared in ASPROA for them the work queue where they see in detail which tool load truck they have to use for which mold on which a heating station with exact time with exact start time end time uh, total use time yeah so and based on this they can prepare the molds in advance and to be really uh, uh, prepared on time for the production process itself next page it's about uh, viewing of the work classification structure so uh, on the top on the top there is uh, there is the customer demand the customer call off or sales order and then through the through all the processes from from the finished goods production 
through the semi finish until uh, the first production steps in our cases in our case is, is it uh, for example uh, cutting of the leaves or foaming of the data cell queue uh, you can see the connected structure so we have it and of course for every single uh, production operation we can see in detail which tap resources are used and for how long this is on this uh, print screen so this is a machine operator mold heating station and uh, tool load truck so uh, newly from this year uh, we also implemented into the into asprova by by uh, the event module the information uh, when the production should turn off and then again turn on the machine so if there is break between the last uh, production batch and the next one eight hours or more the aspro automatically will generate the event and we export it uh, from Asprova to, to uh, shift report and the production department has information, hey, turn off the machine because next start is in uh, another six hours or eight hours. So you have to, you have to turn, turn off the machine and save the energy. This is really uh, new for us. Uh, and we believe that it will help us to to really save the energy, what was also the, the requirement, uh, the original requirement uh, of us. And we can, of course, also by this uh, monitor the production department if they really do it as, as requested. So, um, and on the last uh, slide, you can see the improvement uh, in the productivity because uh, we implemented or introduced ASPROA in the middle of the 2019. There is visible on whole M3 and of also on the whole M5, the improvement in the productivity. So no fluctuation, just the improvement these charts are from production department. This is, this is not my, my charts. So these are really figures directly from the production, production department. Uh, so we really improved the productivity after the uh, introduction of the, of the uh, ASPROVA. And of course, uh, it affects uh, the introduction of ASPROVA, the structure of the uh, production planning team. Before the introduction of ASPROVA, we had three uh, production schedulers. They sp spent a lot of time by preparing of the production, production plan, a lot of over times and after the introduction, the team was reduced from three to one to two to two uh, production planners, and they are able to prepare the production plan during standard eight hours. So there was really also visible big improvement and the efficiency and improvement in the efficiency. Yeah, uh, I think that's all from my side at the moment. Thank you for your attention. And have a nice day. Thank you, Jan. Very interesting and uh, very uh, good to see the 
results that you saw very quickly after starting with us, Prova. Um, we have uh, one question, which I think should be, I hope, uh, quick to answer, which is, um, is Asprova directly linked to SAP in your case, or do you have a, a SQL database that stands between the two systems? Uh, we have the uh, SQL database in between. Okay, so you SAP is your source of data, but it still goes into a, a SQL database, and then from there, Asprova imports the data, yeah. correct? Yes, correct. Okay, good, good, thank you.